everybody. I hope everyone's doing well. Well, today I have a get ready with the story time video for you guys. And this story is going to be about the time a taxi driver wanted to deck me one. Mm -hmm. Yes, he did. <laughs> so uh, let's get right to this because you know how these get long. But first, I'm going to show you what palette I'm going to be using for this. I look, it's the Morphe. This is the 35 uh, mattes. Let me show you the colors. Those are the colors. So we're going to be using some of these because I want to draw on the browns and the like a mustard yellow from the shirt. By the way, this shirt I got at the Goodwill, but it's starting to fit me big. It's an extra large. Um, I think it's Style and Company. It's really, really pretty. I got the Goodwill and I don't know. I don't know how much longer I'll be able to wear this. Anyways, let's get right to this. Okay, so I do have some notes because I had to sort of relive it and you know just get some details because the memory is not all that well so i just wanted to make sure i got all the dates and stuff right all right so let's get going here all right first we're gonna have to go back uh to 1999. my little guy aaron was about five years old or so it's gonna be yeah five and um this was in july uh july 1st approximately of 1999. And every year, my mom's side of the family, okay, meaning her mom, her dad, and aunts and uncles, and um, we go to Vegas uh, for a family reunion every summer. And it's for the weekend. It's not like a big old thing. But we meet up there, you know, other family members meet up there, and, you know, we have a good time for three days or so, right? And Or so, some of them longer. <laughs> but for me, it typically was... I went on a Friday, came back Sunday night, around there. Well, this particular year, 1999, um, my husband, uh, he could not uh, make it, okay? He had just started a new job and uh, really didn't have any vacation time. He didn't have anything, so he couldn't go. So in place of him was my mother-in-law, his mom, uh, wanted to come. And I said, sure, yeah no big deal it would be fun it was it would have been the first time that you know she and I uh, did anything like that together at that time my little guy my Aaron <laughs> who's now 27 uh, he was gonna go with my mom so what how it was going to work or how it worked actually was that my mom was going to drive up right because it's on the way I lived on the way to Vegas so my mom was going to drive up with her family, my grandma, my grandpa, my dad, and I say my mom was going to drive because my mom was the one who drove. And she was going to stop at my apartment and she was going to pick up Aaron, my, 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 my little guy, because she was going to take Aaron with her in her car, uh, in her van, because she had a DVD player. This is when the DVDs were just now being introduced into vans. My mom had a Toyota Privia, the one that looked like an egg. And uh, yeah, it had a DVD player. My mom thought, you know what, let me just take him with us. And then this way, you know, he could be distracted with a, with a movie. Also, my youngest brother, he was also going to be in the sort of caravan uh, of cars. Uh, he was going to also meet us up there and we were just going to all leave together. So my brother, my youngest brother, he had his family in his car, in his truck, he had a truck. And uh, we were just sort of all gonna follow each other, right? We are off to Vegas. Where we would go, we would go to the Union Plaza. And the reason why we stayed there was because dad got free rooms um, from his company that he worked for. They would um, give him free rooms. And, uh, hold on a minute, let me get a thinner one. Um, for years, years and years and years, um, the company would give my dad two free complimentary rooms. Um, and so my mom and dad gave me uh, one of the rooms um, to stay with my son Aaron and with my mother-in-law. I'm gonna sort of have to set the stage a little bit um, as far as the placement of my car and the placement of the of free of the plaza the doors and everything the hotel or the casino has a roundabout driveway you know what I mean so like 
here is the front doors or here's the front door so and here is the inside of the casino this is the outside okay so when you come up the when you come up into it you're gonna hit a roundabout and then you leave you exit out the other side and you go on right so it's like just a roundabout driveway well so you come up you come up in and then there's three approximately parking spots so three or four I think it was three and then one handicap parking spot on this side okay so you come up and you go straight into these sort of parking to check in okay for you to, in, to check in now if you have valet and all this stuff you go in the roundabout so I think how it went when we all got there um, I took a spot my mom took the spot so we we drive up okay casino no casino okay you drive up it you get into the driveway I took a parking spot mom took another parking spot and I really don't remember if my brother also got a parking spot I kind of think he did okay so we were all three parked there um, to, to do our check-in I did not get down and my mother-in-law did not get down um, I remember my mother-in-law and I rolled down our windows uh, because it was hot and also I wanted to see my little guy my mom got down my dad got down also grandpa and all of them got down to go to the bathroom and everything else but my mother-in-law and I we stayed in the car my dad he was a smoker my mom did not allow him to smoke in the car <laughs> so I think my dad checked everybody in with my mom but then I think there was benches right outside of the plaza it's right outside right here and since it curves I couldn't see it from where I was sitting I believe that's where dad was when this whole thing happened okay um, and uh, at this point I believe my brother once everything was everybody went to the restroom checked in my brother left okay so I thought but I did not know where my brother really went I just thought that he checked in and he was um, in the garage the the um, parking garage now where the parking garage was is here's the front of the casino you come in roundabout you exit and then you make a right and then you go all the way down it's part of block and then the parking garage entrance was on this side like I don't know if it's like that now but that's how it was so I just I don't know I just presumed my brother had gone to park and go to his room at this point uh, everybody was sort of coming back into their cars my grandpa my grandma made it into back into the van behind me okay behind this little area of parking um, behind me there okay let me let me put it to you this way when you come up like this and you park into these th three areas right here behind me was a curb that went like this it was just a small curb nobody's supposed to park there it's not a taxi zone okay because the taxi zone was when you come out of the casino and you turn right in this section it kind of goes in a little bit and all the all the taxi drivers are parked right here right here there's like an indentation like um like have you seen like buses where they have you know in the main highway in the main street it has like where they can turn in and park you know so they're not disrupting the flow of traffic that's what it was that's how it was okay so behind me where we were parked it's not a parking spot it's a curb okay at the time when I was thinking of pulling out and, and moving my car there was two taxi cars parked right behind me alongside this curb I see mom approaching coming out she's in my sights I'm thinking let me just move out of uh, let me just you know let her go first I was just gonna pull my car out turn 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 wait there until she turned her van and then we were gonna go so at uh, this time I didn't see anybody in the 
cars. I didn't know if there was anybody in the taxi. I mean, uh, I, I didn't see anything like that. You know what I mean? I was just pulling back. Now, I had to go really slow because they were parked back there that really, I don't even think my meter, or my speedometer even moved. I really don't. I think I was just doing zero. We're just kind of letting the car inch its way back. And so I started backing up and then I put it in first and then I had to go back up and then I had to come back around and then I had to go up and then I had to come back around because it was that tight. And uh, I started going back again probably my third attempt to really, you know, get that turn in. When my car, I had, did I tell you I had a 1997 Honda Civic. Uh, at this time, my car, it kind of went, you know, it kind of went like that, like that. It did that. And I knew, I knew that I had hit the car. And I say hit, very loosely but I did so my car moves I knew I hit the car and I had a stick shift so I knew that I had to be very careful putting it back in first gear and pushing the gas because you know it, it can you know how when you drive a stick shift you, you can't go back a little bit more and I, I didn't have any more room to do that <laughs> you know and I had to be very, very careful. So I was able to move the car forward. Um, and at that point, and our windows were rolled down by the way, um, I didn't even have the thought to go check to see if I damaged anything because I didn't even have the opportunity to do so. I didn't even have the opportunity to evaluate anything. All I did was got the car forward when all of a sudden, all of a sudden, the taxi driver comes out cursing. And when I tell you he came out cursing, I am not in any way, shape, or form exaggerating. I'm not. Uh, he was calling me every name underneath the sun. The F word and the B word came out many times. Everything kind of happened quite fast, but mom hadn't quite made it to my car. Like she was there, like she heard everything clear as day. It wasn't like my mom was so far away, you know, from, from my car, but she wasn't quite where my car was. Uh, my family was uh, in the van. They had got in the van, my grandma, my grandpa, and things like that. And my son Aaron was in the car. They were in the car. But I remember my mom hadn't quite made it to my car when he was already at my window cursing at me. And I told my mother-in-law, I said, roll up your window. You know, I'm, I was trying to keep really, really calm, but I knew I had to roll up the window. So I was able to do that and kind of leave it about this much open. Uh, I told her, make sure her doors were locked. Now, everything in my car was electric, but still, you know, uh, you don't think all the way clearly at that time but I did tell my mother-in-law my mother-in-law um, was was scared she was and I was too I'm not gonna lie to you I mean this man was cursing I mean he wouldn't stop talking like I couldn't get any word in edgewise like I couldn't say what did I do to your car I couldn't do nothing it had just happened it had just happened he actually started to get the palm of his hand and he started hitting my window telling me to get out, to get out of my car, calling me a B word, telling me that I, I, I hit his car, his taxi, you know, that I hit it and to get out and calling me a B word. And at that point, that's when I really, like, I really started to get scared, you know, and my mother-in-law, I remember she grabbed me from my arm, like, cause she was scared, you know, and he was hitting the, from the palm of his hand, he was hitting my window. Um, again, it was this, it was cracked about this much. Um, and I was like, what did I do to your car? I'm trying to ask him, you know, what, what did he see? Because I don't even know how he had time to see because where I hit the car, where I hit his car would have been on the passenger side 
uh, at the back tire here. And he would have had to have come around, went to go see, then come to my window. But he just darted towards my, my window. I, I don't even see how, I don't even know how he could have seen the damage. And I was trying to yell at him like, you know, what did I do to his car? And he kept telling me, get out. He kept telling me, get out. And he kept hitting the window. And I'm like, I'm not getting out. And I told my mother-in-law, my mother-in-law was like, don't get out, don't get out. I go, I'm not getting out. I'm not gonna get out. I mean, my goodness. Um, at this point, I see my mom approaching the man. And I thought, oh my gosh. So here comes mom, she gets to my car and she is right now face to face with this man. And at this point, I'm going to tell you that oh, I, I really was trying to see where my dad was, but I could not find, I mean, my dad was nowhere in sight. Uh, I, like I said, I think he was smoking at the bench and he had no visual of my car at this time, but my mom met him head on. Uh, she herself was yelling and screaming and telling him and that I was her daughter and that he, he was going to deal with her. Yeah. Um, my mom says, what does she do to your car? Let me see. And they, I saw them. They went around. My mom's yelling at him saying, there is nothing there. You know, I remember hearing my mom saying... There, there's nothing there's she didn't do anything to your car this man wanted me out of the car um and he would yell at her they would go back and forth and then he would hit my car and he hit my car telling me to get out yeah my mother-in-law was uh very afraid um she got very very nervous you know and kept telling me to drive off, drive off. I couldn't drive off. I was stuck. I was stuck, you know, and uh, I wouldn't leave my mom there anyway. I mean, it was, I was not going to do that, but I understand she was, she was frightened and she just, you know, wanted out of that situation. Um, and this guy didn't look like he was going to relent in the, in the least, um, seriously. So my mom and him are bickering. I mean, not bickering. That's not even bickering. They were really going back and forth. She had cuss words coming out of her mouth too. She did. She really, really did. My brother, I thought he left, but he had checked in. You know, he was in a truck. He went to the roundabout place, you know, in front of the, in front of the door, plaza door, and he parked with his hazards right there. And, um, now in the roundabout there's like two lanes like it's like a two car lane well he parked furthest from the door so people can go you know do their thing and he just kind of parked there with his hazards on um I didn't, I didn't see that he is very 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 stocky you know he was ex-football <laughs> um definitely has a presence to him um can be in uh, I don't want to say he's intimidating, like his presence is intimidating, because that's that's really not it. It's just, he's just very, very stocky, very, very built. You know what I mean? I can tell you one hit from him, and, and people, you know, you, you can be hurt, uh, seriously. But I see him walking towards us, and I thought, oh, thank God. You know, thank God that he didn't leave, you know? And apparently he didn't know everything that was going on, but until from my understanding and my recollection is that he saw this man yelling at my mom pretty much, you know? And he's like, oh, oh no, no, no. <laughs> oh, heck no. And so he walked towards my car and the taxi driver, he did not see, um, he did not see my, my brother by how he was standing. He did not get a visual of my brother coming towards the car. Um, so really, honestly, when my brother got to the car, it really was a surprise to him. Now, the, I do remember at this point feeling some sense of relief. Um, again, I hadn't seen my dad at that point. Um, 
I don't know if my dad, from his angle, he was able to see my brother and maybe maybe at that point my dad came. I'm not sure, but I, I don't remember seeing my dad at that point, okay? My brother, first thing he tells him when he arrives at the car, in a very, 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 very stern but calm voice, but very, very stern, he says to him, What's the problem here? That's what he tells him. The man turns around towards my brother and I can almost see his face of, oh, you know, that kind of face, that kind of look, you know, like, and um, my brother says, you are yelling at my sister and at my mother. What's the problem? And the guy proceeded, the taxi driver proceeds to tell him, that I hit his car. Now, mind you, this whole time, this taxi driver just wanted me out of the car, the effing car, that I was, you know, this whole time he's calling me every horrific name, hitting my car, and never telling me anything about, hey, um, you know, we need to exchange insurances, uh, you know, calmly talking to me about anything, you know. No, 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 no. None of that came out of his mouth. His mouth was, you know, get the out of the car, calling my, you know, telling my mom that she better get out of the car and all this stuff. So my brother goes around to the, um, to the, uh, site <laughs> and my brother says, what's the problem here? And the guy goes over there and there is absolutely nothing no paint on paint no dent not no paint on paint on either side not on my side or on his side uh he showed him the the site there's no problem and he says again i'm gonna ask you what's the problem and the gentleman at uh, gentleman at this point he was like no no nothing nothing no no nothing i mean she hit my car he says again i'm gonna ask you what's the problem he tells him and, you know, at this point, I, the guy knew, you know, that, you know, nothing was going to transpire here. And he, my brother tells him, uh, if I were you, I would get in your car and I would go. I would leave if I were you. And, and the guy literally got in his taxi and took off. Finally using these uh, cheek parade uh, from Benefit. I've had this forever and I'm using the rocket one. Um, I don't see anything coming on. Is it? Oh, yeah, it is. You know, my mom was shaken up. It took her a little bit to calm down. Um, I explained to my brother what happened. He had told me that he really didn't see anything until uh, my mom, you know, he looked through the rear view mirror and he saw the argument, you know, and that's when he, he, he came, you know. But I think that my dad had <laughs> knew at some point he got to the curb right where my car was at and then uh, he did not come down from the curb I think my brother was really handling everything and um, the guy immediately stopped yelling I, it, it, almost instantaneously it was like it was like night and day you know that he just stopped yelling he just stopped you know and uh, my brother never yelled at him and that was just the topic of conversation for like the entire time we were there it really really was and you know we were talking about it thinking you know what what the heck I think that he saw two women I think that he wanted some cash that's what I think and I think that would it be hurt me I don't know I don't know because he really looked pissed uh, I'm not sure I'm glad I didn't get out of the car I don't like that he yelled at my mom the way he did but I was really proud of my mom she says she doesn't know what got over her she really didn't, I, it's almost like something took over. Like she's, this is how she described it. You know, something took over and she was not in control. She was just not gonna have anybody yell at me, period. And um, way to go mom. <laughs> and, um, but yeah, I, I got, I, you know, thank God nothing happened to her. He didn't hurt her. And thank God my brother was there. And we were talking about this afterwards in the, in the room and we were just saying, I just think he wanted some money. 
I really, really do. Because if if I would have damaged him, like his bumper or something, it still wouldn't, the, the, I wasn't going any speed. Like I said, it wasn't even registering. And so there was no real damage. But even if I would have just dented his bumper, it would not have impeded him to do his job. I would It would not have impeded him from earning any kind of money that day. And so I don't even think that, so that, you know, even if I put a dent in his car, I really don't even think that he would have been that dramatic. I, I really don't because I think he would have known that, that he had some kind of pull with that dent, if there were a dent, uh, that he would have had some kind of pull, some kind of leeway. And I think that he would have just brought it down several notches because um, he really was in high theatrics. I mean, just drama, um, insulting and, and very just, I don't know how to, I, 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 yeah. Anyways, my friends, that was it. That was the time a taxi driver wanted to really deck me one. Yeah, over nothing. Yeah. But anyways, my friends, I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm glad everything turned out the way it did, thanks to my brother and my mom. <laughs> Woo, mama was not going to let nothing happen to her child, I tell you what. <laughs> She was she was in beast mode that day. I tell you that there was not going to be anybody stopping my mom that day. This taxi driver, uh, even though I will tell you this guy had some nerves still because even even with all my mom's you know going back at him, he was he was not relenting himself. He wanted me out of the car. But anyway, there you go. There's the story. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you all in my next. Get ready with me, story time. All right, my friends, take care of yourself and be safe. Be safe. Just wanted to show you the top real quickly. Just, it's kind of big, but this is my, my um, necklace. And then these are the earrings that go with these. They actually go with this. It's a set. Yeah, just wanted to show you baby. Gotta tell you the truth I've got this empty space And there's the thing about